Hi everyone, I apologize for my voice, but right here I am doing 10 to 15 reps and I'm doing three sets. So I'm jumping as high as I can on top of the box. So for my next workout, I'm going to do hip thrusts with a weighted barbell and I do usually uh, 25 reps and three sets. So with the 25 reps, I do 15 ups and downs. I don't know the exact, exact terminology, but 15 ups and downs and then I do about 10 pulses. And then the same thing with the kettlebell, I do about 10 to 15 reps and then five to 10 pulses. And I do this three times. I also forgot to mention that I hold it for at least five to 10 seconds. Hi, welcome back to my channel. We are trying something a little different. We're going to be outside today. I'm gonna do some singing bowls while I drink my wine. And then maybe read some books today. So. It is a very beautiful sunny day today and I decided to just soak up some sun today. Cheers! I'm low-key nervous to spill my wine so hopefully it doesn't spill. We'll see. It's a little loud outside today so I apologize but I got my singing bowls from Etsy and they come with little donuts which are really cool. And they have different colors um, for each chakra, each seven ch chakras. So, yes. And then I also got this one that was gifted uh, from a friend. I think it's, I think it's either F or C, like the note. So I'm not sure. It sounds so beautiful. Actually, the smaller ones are harder to play, but I will start with them first, just, just to start with them first. And I also have three different types of sticks. I don't know the names of any of these things, but I have an all wooden one, a wooden one with, I don't know what it, the material is, but it's like a, maybe like felt felt material. I will try to go back and forth between both of these to see which one sounds better and which one is easier for me to play. So I'm gonna play, this is the crown chakra. So the crown chakra is on top of your head. I'm hoping you can hear it's very light. Okay, let me try it again. on to the next one. I'm thinking this is the third eye chakra. Okay, we can hear this one a little bit better. It sounds so beautiful. you can hear. Let me go a little bit closer so you guys can hear this one. make any sound have the throat chakra and you can hear this one really loud I hope you can hear it. It's super loud. 
we have heart chakra and the heart chakra is usually the color green and so it heals the heart so let's play let's see what it sounds like okay this one's really loud Sometimes when I'm playing through these, I like to just breathe and just really be in the moment and be mindful. But yeah, if you want, you can put water in it. It looks really cool. It has like a little um, like waves in it from playing the the playing the sound bowl. It's like vibrations. This one is I know the the solar plexus chakra is yellow but this one's like a green yellow the solar plexus which is like the stomach area is yellow we have the sacral chakra which is usually like a, a darker tone but it's yellow so the sacral chakra is like below the pelvic bone so in charge of like pleasure and stuff our last one which is our root chakra so this is the loudest one and it's kind of my favorite one because it's so loud a beautiful red color and it makes such beautiful tones and notes This one I really love it because I feel like I can sing. I sing like a note below, a half a note below, or a note um, above, and it just makes me feel really connected. Right now I'm gonna start reading on my Kindle. I'm reading Man Searching for Meaning. Uh, this book has really been inspiring me so far. I'm not done yet. I'm halfway there, but I'm really excited to finish it. And yeah, I really like the book, so I'm gonna read for a little bit. I just got off of work. I prepared some food earlier so I can make Buddha bowls. I don't have tahini, unfortunately, but I do have some avocado 
guacamole salsa that I'm gonna use. So yes, let's get started and make some dinner. Let's get started making some quote unquote Buddha bowls. So while the tofu is cooking, I'm going to put some lime and some plum inside of the kale and I'm going to massage it. Lime juice into the kale so it can soften up. Okay, so I added some plum in the kale. I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper and then a little bit of salt. So you're just going to massage the kale so all the lime gets evenly distributed in the kale and it softens up a little bit. So this is the final product. And what I like to add is this guacamole habanero extra hot salsa. I'm just gonna put a little bit on it and ta-da. 